so um, in this video, I'll be going over spot bugs, um, the static code analysis tool that I picked. So what is spot bugs? So spot bugs is an open source and free to use program and is a tool which uses static analysis to allow users to find flaws in their Java projects. It looks for instances of quote unquote bug patterns, which are code instances that are likely to be errors. So uh, spot bugs is actually a successor to another static analysis tool called find bugs. Um, find bugs had issues with an inactive project leader or project lead, sorry. So the community decided to start up spot bugs um, in order to continue where find bugs left off. So spot bugs has the ability actually to search for over 400 different bugs and documentation and description of each bug can be found on their site at um, spotbugs.github.io. So the tool itself is um, extensible meaning there are different plugins available for it. Uh, an example of one of the plugins is find security bugs, which is for security audits of Java web applications. So getting started with spot bugs. So for the purpose purposes of this video, I'll be using spot bugs version 4.6.0, which is the most um, up to date version at the time of this video being recorded. So um, you'll need at least 512 megabytes of memory available. Um, your runtime environment um, has to be compatible with Java Java version 1.8 or later. And um, spot bugs can actually be used on uh, Linux, Windows, Mac, whatever you desire. So here's the uh, download link here uh, to go to this, to download uh, spot bugs. Um, I found that it was really difficult to find the, the link to download it for whatever reason. I kept going to a GitHub repository, but that's not actually what you want. So this link will take you to um, this page here. Uh, so once you're actually here, all you have to do is just um, choose your preferred method. So you can either get like a tar format or just regular zip folder. So like, um, you just download it wherever you want, unzip the folder. And so once you have your folder unzipped, you just have to go to wherever um, uh, you have your file, wherever you have your, um, wherever you installed the project, wherever you unzip the project. So once you're in the spot bugs folder, you want to go into the subdirectory, the lib folder. And so once you're in the lib folder, you want to run the spotbugs.jar. Um, you will need Java installed for this in order to get this to work. So like once you do that, I don't know why I use PowerShell. I don't even know why I did that. Okay. So, um, once spot bugs <laughs> loads up, um, it brings up like this, uh, window here. So this, this application, so you can go to file a new project. And so I'm going to be using two different projects for this. I'm going to be using a, um, one of the projects we did for NAD and MAD. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with MAD assignment two. So I'm going to call it that. And then here I'm going to add, um, the, uh, location of the, the directory or like the, the project folder. Um, and so we're going to anal um, analyze this depending on the size of what file you're analyzing. Um, this may take a long time. This is normal. It like might, this might show up depending on like what is included in your project. So once it analyzes your project, um, you have a bunch of these things that pop up here. So, as you can see, we have like a folder um, called bugs. We have performance, dodgy code, bad practices. So we can look here under um, bad practices and we can see that there are some issues with string uh, comparison, I guess. So if I click this, it actually showcases uh, what what file it found this uh, bug in. So it says like car type details activity Java at line one. 38. So yeah, it shows exactly the method as well or something. And so basically right here in this box, it, um, goes into detail, but what the problem is, uh, in depth. So it says this code compares the string objects for reference equality using the equal to or not equal to operators, unless both strings are either constants or in a source file or have been interned using this, the string dot intern method. The same string value may be represented by two different string objects. Consider using equals object method instead. So basically there's some bad practices in the, um, the code that I an, uh, analyzed and that I should have been using the equals object instead of, uh, the equal equal to, or, um, does not equal to operators. So, um, we also have one for confusing method name. 
So uh, if we click this, actually, it showcases that um, method names should start with a lowercase letter and that there was some naming convention problem because I had a method called add data with an uppercase where um, it should have been a lowercase for best practices. So we have other bugs here like performance, dodgy code, um, unrelated field. Let's check this out. So the field is never read. Consider removing it from the class. So apparently we have some like unused fields um, that shouldn't even be there. Uh, inner class should be made static. Um, so it looks like I had a class and it should have been made static. So yeah, so this tool can go into a lot of different, um, it showcases like and pretty in pretty in detail with like a pretty good like tree structure or I don't know if that's the tree, I don't know what that is. So it looks pretty good. Um, so we can actually start this again and I can uh, add a new project here and I'm going to call this NAD assignment two. Um, in my case, um, I did this with um, Java for the client. So I'm going to open up that uh, directory. I technically it was assignment three, sorry, but um, we're going to open up that and we're going to analyze it. Um, there's only one file uh, in that solution, one Java file, which was the client in our case. So um, we have some uh, dodgy code. Exception is caught when it, exception is caught when exception is not thrown. Um, so there's some issues here showcasing that on client.java at line 140. So in the method, so it actually shows like the line, the method that it's in, and um, and so it shows you actually examples on what should have been done uh, to prevent this bug from appearing. And so um, instantiates static class um, needlessly instantiates a class that only supplies static methods. So yeah, there's some, it showcases like a bunch of different um, um, errors here. Um, so again, some like exception method might ignore exception, dropped or ignored exception, bad practice. So it's like, it showcases like um, sub, uh, like the subject you're involved in. So you have like bugs followed by bad practice and then dropped or ignored exception, method may, may, might ignore exception. So like it goes into detail um, in what the problem is. It showcases exactly what the issue is and why it's bad, um, the line in which it exists in, the file in which it exists in, um, and, the and the method it exists in. So it goes into a lot of detail in this regard. So this um, spot bugs analysis tool is actually um, a really great way, a really easy and fast way with like a pretty good UI, um, pretty good UX and UI um, to kind of filter and find bugs in your Java projects. So that's essentially how this works. Um, so you can actually um, like group by bug, whatever. So you can actually um, change these and stuff and uh, class name filter. There's like a, a bunch of different things you can do with this. So um, <clears throat> yeah, essentially that's how this, uh, spot bugs works and um uh it's a great way to finding uh for finding uh bugs in your your projects so you just simply drop the entire project in it searches the entire thing and everything is there under different subfolders so uh, it's a great tool for analyzing bugs in your program for java since it is exclusively only for java <laughs>